there's just something about having a bunch of dry shampoo in your hair that really gives it some volume. <laughs> Hey guys, it's V, and today we are going to be filming day eight. We are almost through with the 10 day wonder bender. So today we are testing out a sponge that I actually haven't heard anyone talk about yet. I mean, maybe there are YouTubers that have talked about this that I just don't subscribe to, but this is a sponge that is from a very, very popular brand now. I want to say it's probably, it started out as sort of more of an indie brand and then they started collaborating with a bunch of YouTubers and so now they've kind of blown up into a pretty big brand and now they're available at Ulta. So this is the Ofra Perfecting Puff. This one is $11, so pretty mid-range as far as price goes for a makeup sponge. And so it is the Ofra Perfecting Puff Expanding Makeup Sponge Latex-Free. So this is what it looks like. If you can see, I'm sorry, the glare is unreal, but it is kind of like a muted mint color. It's very pretty. It was only $11, so not terrible. So the packaging on the back of here says, Ofra's Perfecting Puff is used to apply makeup evenly all over face for a flawless professional finish. It prevents lines and streaking with a soft and comfortable texture, creating a natural effect. So I'm into it. I'm ready to try it out. I'm hoping that this is a good one because it's a nice, pretty color that I don't have yet and it wasn't super expensive, so I'd love to be able to recommend it to you guys. So let's go ahead and zoom in and get down to business. All right, first things first, let's pin up the bangs so that they are out of our way for today. And then let's get into opening up our sponge here. I'm interested to feel this one. It looks like it's gonna be a little bit harder just from like pure, not even touching it yet, but let's feel it. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, it's nice. It's not bad. Not nearly as rough as yesterday. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you haven't watched that yet, you've got to watch it. I ended up wiping off all of my foundation. Okay, so that is what this one looks like here. If you can see, it's got a little bit more of a rounded, almost nipply shaped <laughs> tip on it. It's a little bit more rounded than some of the other sponges that I have. Like, just for reference, like, where's another one of these that's similar? Okay, this one is the Ulta one. This was from, like, day one. But you can kind of see, like... It's a little bit less pointy than that one. Maybe you can't see, hopefully you can see. Is this, is this pointless? Can you guys see? I feel like it looks a little bit more rounded, but let's go ahead and see what it looks like wet. So this is what it looks like dry. So we're gonna see if it expands at all when you get it wet. It didn't have any kind of directions or anything for it, um, unless Ulta does that I didn't see. Let me make sure of that very quickly. Okay, it says, nope, nope, doesn't say anything about wet or dry or anything like that. It just says that you can use it to blend. So this is what it looks like dry, and then let's go ahead and get it wet. Okay, so this is it wet. So I definitely think it grew in size. It's very nice and squishy now. It feels good. It feels like it's going to be nice. Um, usually you can kind of tell once you wet a sponge if it's going to blend out everything nicely. So this one feels like it will. And I mean, the little rounded tip is just throwing me off a little bit. It's just not as pointy as like other tips that I've that I've been in contact with. Let's stop saying tip, please. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my two pumps of Revlon Color Stay. Woo! That was a little bit weird pump there. I think I'm running out of Revlon Color Stay, so thank God we're almost done with the series. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dot this on my face and then get to blending. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the excess foundation from my finger, wipe it onto my sponge there, and let's blend. I'm excited to see how this one works. Oh, very nice so far. Feels very nice and squishy. I like it. I definitely like it. It's working very well, blending everything. Doesn't seem to be soaking up a ton of product. Soaks up enough, but not anything excessive for a sponge. Ooh. So far, so good. It feels really good on the face. this so far it is blending everything out really quickly really evenly 
like it said it's not leaving any streaks or lines or anything I may not even need to go in with the rest of the product on my hand because it doesn't seem to be soaking up a lot of product just seems to be working pretty well I will say in like the center of the sponge it does feel a little bit more dense but not in a hard way I mean it just feels like dense is the only way I can really describe it so it, it feels like a little bit less squishy in the center of the sponge but still the outsides of the sponge are really squishy so that's a little bit unique I think I am going to take a little bit more of my foundation and just go along my forehead and down my nose Like I can still feel that there's a tiny bit of moisture in the very center of the sponge, but I squeezed it out really well. I actually am going to go ahead and just take all of the foundation on my hand. I'm going to go over this side because I think I applied more foundation on the other side of my face. Alright, so that is my foundation blended out. I'd say overall this did a pretty fantastic job. It felt nice and squishy on the face. It didn't, doesn't smell any weird way it just smells like a sponge it doesn't have any intense odor <laughs> like other sponges that we may have tested um it i'm no complaints i mean it used up all the foundation on my hand so that is something that other sponges haven't done in the past but it's not something that i would like say is a con or anything like usually i use two pumps of foundation with my sponges that i use on the regular so um yeah let's go ahead and go ahead and color my brows really quickly and i'll be back with you guys with some fresh brows and magically the brows have appeared. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go in with my concealer. So let's see, we are just gonna, I'm just gonna use my normal amount of concealer because this sponge seems to work pretty uniformly. So I'm just gonna go in with some concealer on the under eyes, blend it out a little bit. I think I use a little bit more on this side, so I'm gonna kinda scoot it over here a little bit. <sighs> All right, let's get to blending with this sponge here. See if the tip hinders me at all with it being a little bit less floofy or not floofy a little bit less pointy Ooh, that looks really good yes that kept all my coverage i'm gonna go ahead and go on the nose a little bit with a little bit of excess product i kept all my coverage and literally blended out in seconds yes okay that looks really good i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side Go ahead and take my sponge sponge. I love when sponges don't take away concealer coverage. That's like one of my favorite, favorite things about a sponge. Oh, right. I actually really love how that blended out my concealer. It did an amazing job keeping my coverage. So let's go in with some RCMA No Color Powder and see how it is with the setting. All right. Go ahead and set the under eye here. And it looks good. It looks good. Seems to be melting into the skin. Has sponge has enough moisture to spread out the product and melt it in, so that is good. Go ahead and blend that in. Yes. Looking so good. Blend out a little bit of that on the nose just to set the nose. My nose gets oily throughout the day. Alright, that was nice and quick loving how this sponge worked so far okay so this is my face concealer foundation powder all blended out honestly this one did an amazing job i really really like it and the action of actually using the sponge was great there was nothing I mean, no real complaints that I can think of, honestly. So I think if I had to give this one a rating, I would probably give it like an eight and a half, nine. I would say like somewhere in that little range, just because the only reason I wouldn't give this one a 10 is because it's a little bit more on the expensive side. It's a little bit more on the higher price range side being $11. But I mean, I don't really have any complaints with the sponge. The only thing is since the dense part is like still kind of in the center of the sponge and it kind of takes a second before 
before it fully like squishes back out again. Um, I've had sponges with similar textures before and they don't necessarily hold up as well over time. Um, so that's not going to be really something I can test out for you guys. But like I said, I did know, I do want to know if you guys want me to mention cleaning in the wrap up video. Um, something else I actually just noticed about this sponge, which is kind of interesting, is that on the bottom of it, there's four little marks and I don't remember seeing those when I first touched it but I mean they're not marks that I could have made with my finger so that's kind of interesting that there's already some little tiny tears in this one so I mean I have pretty long nails so usually when I'm squeezing out a sponge if I'm gonna nick it it'll nick it pretty instantly um, so I don't see any other nicks on this one but that is another thing to kind of just mention that it could nick easily if there's already a couple of little holes in the bottom which are confusing to me. I don't know why those exist. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the day eight of the 10 day blender bender. If you did, be sure to show some love to the like button down there. And if you do that thing you do when you subscribe, you can be a member of my Amuse family. It's fun here. We always have a good time. And I love you guys so, so much. So thank you guys. And I will see you in tomorrow's video.